Hello, dear organizers and participants on the conference. Let me present to your attention a report dedicated to the memory of the Russian surgeon Nikolai Skrifasovsky. It was prepared by Konova Arina and Dziatova Polina. Nikolai Skrifasovsky was a well-known Russian surgeon. He loved his job so much. He could actually spend up to 50 hours at the operating table without sleep, rest or food. His talent was recognized quite early. He was only a little of 40 when his name began to be pronounced with love and admiration throughout the world. Nikolai Klifasovsky was born on 25th March 1836 in a small village in the south of Russia. He was the ninth child in the family of 12. The family wasn't particularly well off. Nikolai's father was an elderly room clerk, and it was difficult to support and nature such a large family that it was decided that Nikolai would be better off in on orphanage in the city to Odessa. His say childhood and lack of friends uh, made small Nikolai take an interest in science. Uh, at the Gudum, uh, where he studied, he was considered one of the best students and was seven granted a silver medal, uh, which helped him to enter to the Moscow State University. Studentship turned out to be as miserable as his childhood. Skripasovsky lived on a scholarly ship and often went without food. In 1859, he graduated from university with honors and moved to Odessa to work. 1859 was an important year in the life uh, of the future surgeon. He became an attended deacon uh, in the surgery department and at the central hospital and started to earn money and gain experience. He even rejected Boston as chief doctor. Sklifazovsky was after experts and now leech, not fame and regalia. In 1863, the renowned sergeant presented his this at Lighted, a hemal paratarian tumor. It was a great success, and there, year later, Klifasovsky set off on a business trip to attend advanced training courses. During the next two years, he works in Germany, France, England and Scotland, where he studied foreign apologies or two operation, authoritic sites, and celebrate fungi. Skripasovsky also hid an apology to take a very close look at military medicine with person from the Austrian government who took part in the Austro-Prussian War of 1863 working in sick cuteries and failed dressing stadiums. Over time, his name became in cycling famous and medical scurrilous in 1870 upon the recommendation of Pirogov. Skripasovsky was often the Surgic Department Chair at the Kiev University. A year late, uh, he was summoned to St. Petersburg, where he was asked to teach surgical pathology at the Medical Surgical Academy. Uh, and in 1870, he became head of the surgical clinic. In the site Petersburg, he wrote and published uh, several works and became one the, of the best known and deleted surgical in Russia. In 1818, Sklifasovsky was appointed first head of the surgical department of the Moscow University and then dean of the same department. For the next 40 years, Moscow became Sklifasovsky's home and the university his favorite place of work. Green to be dean of the university was a courageous step. At the time, the institution was in a wolf condition. But Sklifasovsky turned in into one of the best medical establishments not only in the country but in Europe. 
Lipatowski was one of the first surgeons to treat medical instruments and bed sheets with high temperatures, which greatly reduced the risk of complications in post-operative patterns. Soon the clinic was surrounded by a small campus. After the Moscow period, Lipatowski moved back to St. Petersburg, where he lived for another 10 years teaching practical surgery. He wrote courses, attracted hundreds of younger and experienced doctors from all over. In 1902, he resigned due to serious illness and moved to his country estate. Skripasovsky used to spend summers he when he was younger but had avoided the place since his first wife and 24 and the time, and uh, three children died there of type of fever. A series of a politic uh, singles caused the death of the surgical. He died of 13 number 1904 and was buried in the place where the Poltava battle on flared up. A well-known institute of Yangemes series and Moscow was named after Skripasovsky, which nowadays is no simple as Skrip. Vasovsky developed a system of surgical treatment of certain designs. Without him, it would be impossible to operate ophoritic kists, treat cerebral fungi, and ablate the George. Skripasovsky was the first to try surgical treatment of clay pipe cancellation. Also, he paid special attention to abdominal surgery. Sklifasovsky kept up with the European medical age women. He tried to perform plastic surgery and promulgated two methods of antiseptics and aseptics. Lifasovsky was a public figure as well. Uh, he took an active hand in a convent meeting of Russian surgeon. Apart from that, he was the chairman of an interesting doctor congress that took place in Moscow in 1897. Neither the Sklifasovsky forgot about special literature. He was co-editor of a medical magazine, The Surgical Chronicle. Total, he wrote more than 17 articles on surgery that becomes the basis for a new era of surgery in Russia. Nikolai Sklifasovsky had a great number of students, colleges, including Trauber, Kuzmin, Sarichov, Yakovlev, and Hinovsky. Sklifasovsky and his wife Sofia formed a hospital and the open couple. The house was often visited by Tchaikovsky and Verishagin. Sklifasovsky and his wife was uh, having receiving a brilliant education, has was interested that were not limited uh, to medicine. Sklifasovsky loved painting and that and was interested in and literature and music. His wife was an international winner music contest laureate, and their daughter Oliko was a talented musician.